Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you an update on my roses. Now it is August, the beginning of August, and some of my plants, especially the petunias, are slowing down. Some of them are looking like they're over the hill, and I'm probably going to be pulling some of them out very soon. But the roses are still looking very nice. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so I am on my way to the rose garden and as you can see I still have some flowers that are blooming nicely. The petunias on this side are looking really nice. But there are areas in the rose garden that I wanted to specifically show you guys because it is looking really beautifully. So the first one that I want to look at and I'm going to concentrate on the David Austin roses for now. This here is Darcy Bustle. Look at all the flowers on Darcy Bustle, especially over here on this side. Look at all the blooms that this has. Just gorgeous. And then next to Darcy Bustle is Charlotte. Now Charlotte has done really well this uh, season and it's bloomed so much. Look at this. It did not disappoint this year. Such a gorgeous yellow. So beautiful. Now we're going to this side of the garden. And this side of the garden is the one that I really wanted to show you guys that is looking beautifully. And it has a lot of flowers. As you can see, I am showing it to you kind of slowly here. And we're gonna go through each one of them. And we're going to start right here with Carding Mill. Carding Mill has all these blooms. And it is a huge bloom. Look at this. Beautiful. And then I'm going to step right in here because I, I do have um, Ancient Mariner here. I have two uh, Ancient Mariner. And this is the other one. And this one is kind of late, but I saw from a distance that there are a couple of blooms on this ancient mariner here. And then we're going to get to the best part of the garden, I think, is this section right here that has all these different blooms uh, from David Austin. And we're going to start over here. This is Boscobel. Look at this. Now I am filming this in the evening and you know when it gets cold it, it's probably like in the um, upper 60s right now and as I've said before we are very close to the ocean and we do get that influence from the Pacific Ocean when it gets cooler at night and the roses look kind of uh, cold too. They're close but this is Boscobel. Isn't this gorgeous? Just gorgeous. And then again, this is Ancient Mariner right here. Now I said that we're going to concentrate on the David Austin roses, but I do have this impressive looking rose right here. And this is called Ebb Tide. And this is a Weeks rose. It's got all of these blooms. So let's just take a look at this momentarily before we move on because it looks so beautiful. It's got that dusky looking color. So gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to move. This is Charlotte again right here. So we're going to move over to this side. Here's some more Boscobel right here. So pretty. And then next to Boscobel, we have Jude the Obscure. This is Jude the Obscure right here. And then I do have some more down below right here of Jude the Obscure. And Jude the, Jude the Obscure is the other rose that did really well this season. I didn't get a lot of it uh, last year. I didn't get a lot of bloom. But this year, it is truly giving me a lot. Okay, so now we're going to move over to Sceptered Isle. And here's Jude the Obscure again. But Sceptered Isle is another rose that is just so impressive. Look at this bunch over here. So gorgeous. 
so beautiful. So I'm looking back on my rose garden again. So season 2024 is really has been a very uh, good season this year. And the roses have performed really well. Um, I did have some problem with uh, black uh, spots on my roses and I, we did some spray on them. And I have done a video on the, you know, how we take care of our roses and I'll put a link up. So keep an eye on the link up on the left upper hand. So we're looking at Wild Eve right here. My, one of my favorite rows. Wild Eve. Look at this. So beautiful. Just gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to move over to this side because this rose right here is doing really well in this corner of the garden. This one is the Pilgrim. It's got a lot of blooms on it. This is the Pilgrim. Gorgeous, gorgeous rose. And then I do want to show you... Um, Violet's Pride over here in this corner is going to start to bloom. Look at these buds that are just waiting to open up. I come over here on this side and I do have some that are starting to open. And look at all these buds. This is going to be such a gorgeous bush in a few days or in a few, maybe in a week. Within a week probably if we get any more warm weather. One of my favorite week's rows is Violet's Pride. Okay, so I want to show you my hydrangeas. I have them lined up right here, looking really nice. So once again, we're going to take a look at these roses because they look so beautiful. So this is Darcy Bustle. Um, if I were to pick the best bloomers for this um, part of the summer season, Charlotte would be one of them because Charlotte has not stopped blooming. You can see all the beautiful flowers on it. And then Carding Mill is doing very well as, as you could see over here. The blooms look really gorgeous. So gorgeous. And then of course we have, here's another carding mill that looks so beautiful. Here's another carding mill that looks so gorgeous right there. And then we have Boscobel right here. And then of course there's one right here. There's three, uh, there's a trio right here. And then we transition right into Jude the Obscure. So these are the best bloomers I think for this portion of the summer. It's so gorgeous. And this is Sceptered Isle right here. Sceptered Isle looks so nice. And Jude the Obscure again. So beautiful. Trying to capture it before the season is over. All these gorgeous roses that are blooming right now. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.